G'day, welcome to Tech Math. I'm Josh. Today, we're going to look at how to solve age problems in math. So let's have a look at the first example. Adam is 28 years older than Bob. In six years, Adam will be three times as old as Bob. How old is Adam now? So the way we're going to solve this is we're going to build up an equation using all of this information and then we're going to solve it. So let's do that. Well, we have Adam and we have Bob. So we're going to start off just by writing that piece of information down. Now what we're trying to work out, have a look at that last sentence, how old is Adam now? So we're going to call this value x. The thing that we are trying to work out is this value of x, how old Adam is right now. So let's start putting together the rest of our information using what we have. So first off we have Adam is 28 years older than Bob. So if Adam is 28 years older than Bob, Bob is 28 years younger than Adam. So if Adam is x years old, Bob is going to be 28 years less than this. He will be x minus 28 years old. So the first piece of information is in there, that first sentence. Now let's have a look at the second sentence. In six years, Adam will be three times as old as Bob. So there's two pieces of information there. First one is that in six years time, something's happening. What's happening? Well, Adam will be three times as old as Bob. So let's go through and add this information now. And we're going to add it one at a time. So let's do this. First off, we have in six years time. So how old will they be in six years time? Well, they're going to have another six years added to both of them. So plus six, plus six. So if right now Adam is X years old, in six years time, he will be X plus six years old. And Bob will become X minus 22 years old. Okay, six more than minus 28 is minus 22. All right, so what happens at that stage? Well, Adam will be three times as old as Bob. So that means to make this equivalent, which is what we're trying to do here, we're going to have to multiply Bob's amount all by three here. Okay, so Adam will be three times as old as Bob. So to make them equal, we're going to have to multiply Bob, well, his age by three at this stage. So let's go through and do this. We have x plus six. That hasn't changed. This is now equal to, because we're saying this is equal to. Uh, we have x multiplied by three, so that's gonna be three x, and we have three multiplied by negative 22. That's minus 66. Cool. Let's go through and solve this now. We've put all the information in, so now we just have to go through and solve the algebraic equation that we've put together. Let's do this. So, let's solve for x. Let's get all the x's on one side. Let's do this by subtracting x from this side and subtracting x from this side. Let's do that first, okay? So x minus x cancels out. 3x minus x is equal to 2x, okay? And let's get all the numbers on the other side, okay? So 66, well, we have negative 66, so we're gonna add 66 to this side, and we're gonna add 66 to this side. Well, this cancels out here, and we have 66 plus six, which is 72. Cool. 2x is equal to 72. x, well, is equal to 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36. That's what we're trying to work out, by the way. How old is Adam right now? Well, that's his value of x right here. Adam is 36 years old. So that's how you go through and you solve these, okay? You build up this equation and then you solve. What about we have a look at another example? So here we are. Erin is 13 years younger than Faye. In eight years, the sum of their ages will be 41. How old is Erin? So we'll start once again by writing the names down. We have Erin and we have Faye. All right, cool. Uh, what are we trying to work out? How old is Erin? That last sentence there, how old is Erin? We will give the value of X. So now let's go through and start putting our information in. Erin is 13 years younger than Faye. So that means Faye is 13 years older than Erin. Erin is X years old. Faye is going to be X plus 13 years old. Cool. Now to the next sentence. In eight years time, the sum of their ages will be 41. So two pieces of information. Once again, let's put that in. So we are looking in eight years. So let's add that eight years in. So plus eight plus eight. All right, what do we get when we get this? So Erin is X. So in eight years time, she'll be X plus eight, and Faye will become X plus 21, okay? 13 plus eight is 21. And what happens at that stage? Well, the sum of their ages will be 41. 
So what does that mean? So that's that piece of information there. This piece of information here, the sum of their ages will be 41. That means if we add both lots of information together, we will get 41. So let's just write that out. We have x plus 8 plus x plus 21 is equal to 41. Now we have our equation. Let's go through and solve it. So first off, let's consolidate what we have here. We have x plus x. This is going to equal 2x. We have 8 plus 21. This is going to equal 29. And this is equal to 41. So first off, if we take 29 off both sides, if we take 29 off this side, it's going to get rid of that 29 there. And if we take 29 off here, well, what do we get? We have 2x is equal to 12. All right. So if 2x is equal to 12, that means that x is going to equal half of 12, which is going to equal 6. So therefore, x is equal to 6. That's Aaron's age. How old is Aaron? Aaron is 6. How did you go with that? Well, let's have a look at one last example. So let's have a look at this last question. The sum of quarter of what George's age was four years ago and double of what it will be in two years is 66. How old is George? So why don't you pause the video and give this one a go. And while you're at it, hit the like button and maybe at the same time, leave me a comment telling me how you went on this. Huh? You done that? A lot of things to do? Well, let's have a look at the answer here. So as you're going to see here, we're only dealing with one person this time. So it's a little bit different. However, the way we're going to solve it is exactly the same. We're going to build up an equation based upon all this information and solve from there. So let's do that. So we have a couple of things going on here. We have the sum of quarter of what George's age was four years ago and double of what it will be in two years is 66. So we have two time periods that are occurring. We have uh, four years ago, uh, that's four years ago, and we also have the double of what it will be in two years time. That's two years time. And we can work out from there what's going on. We're going to give how old is George that the value of X. And we're going to go from there. So first off, quarter of what George's age was four years ago. So if George is currently aged X years old, four years ago, George was X minus four. And in two years time, he will be X plus two. Cool. So what was happening for each of those time periods? Well, we're looking at a quarter of what George's age was four years ago. So the way we'd write that in is quarter of X minus four. And we have double of what it will be in two years time. So that's two times X plus two. And what we're saying for those, the sum of those is 66. So we add these together, it equals 66. So there you go, we put all the information in there now, we just have to solve it. So let's do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this quarter by multiplying the entire equation by 4. It's just going to make life a whole bunch easier. So let's do this. If I multiply this equation by 4, I get rid of this quarter here, and I'm left with x minus 4. That's plus. So over this side we have x times 2, which is 2x times 4, which is 8x. Then we have 2 times 2 is 4, times 4 is 16, so plus 16 equals, and we're going to multiply 66 times 4, so 66 times 2 is 132, times 2 is 264. Cool. All right, now let's group all our x's and everything together and solve this. So we have x plus 8x, which is equal to 9x, and this is equal to, well, we have minus 4 plus 16, so that's plus 12, is equal to 264. Let's subtract 12 from both sides here. We end up with 9x is equal to 252. Cool. So x is going to equal 252 divided by 9. This is equal to, well, that is equal to 28. So... How old is George? George is 28 years old. How did you go with that one, okay? Anyway, that's how you solve age problems. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and maybe consider becoming a patron. There is a link in the description below. A big shout out to my patrons. Your support is always well appreciated. In fact, in honor of my patrons, I'm gonna put one last question up right now. Here it is right now. Carl is 12 years older than Dave. Two years ago, Dave was half Carl's age. How old is Dave? 
So let's solve this. We have two people, we have Carl and we have Dave. So how old is Dave is what we're trying to work out. We give that the value of X. So we know that Carl is 12 years older than Dave. So if Dave is X years old, Carl is X plus 12. Okay, we're looking at two years ago. Okay, so two years ago, two years ago, let's take two off both of these values here and see what was happening back then. Uh, X plus 12 minus two is gonna be X plus 10, and we have X minus two, cool. And we're saying at this stage, Dave was half of Carl's age. So what we're gonna to have to do to make that all equivalent there is we are gonna multiply Dave's age by two, and then that will all be nice and equal because all the information's there. So let's work out what we have here. We have X plus 10 is equal to, well, X times two is two X, and we have negative two times two, which is negative four. Excuse the kookaburra in the background. Okay, so let's, go through and solve this here. So we get all the X's on one side and all the numbers on the other. So we're gonna first off get all the X's on that right hand side there. We're gonna take X off this left hand side and take an X off the right hand side to balance there. And when we do that, these guys cancel out. We have two X minus X, this is equal to X. All right, let's get these numbers on the left hand side. We do that, we're gonna add four to this side. We're gonna add four to this side. It's gonna cancel out the fours on the right hand side here and we have 10 plus four, which is 14. So X is equal to 14. How old is Dave? Dave is equal to 14. Anyway, that's how you go through and solve these types of questions. Once again, hit the like button, subscribe, shout out to my patrons. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye.